V-mount batteries have been around since before I could say my first word, and really to this day they are used extensively by all sorts of people building out rigs, and really professionally if you're working on a news station, if you're doing any sort of production work for concerts, and indeed if you look on Amazon right now you can scroll through listings of different V-mount batteries, really hundreds of options that range from $100 to over $200. If you're looking for a V-mount battery that has a crazy amount of connections and features though, this is probably one of the best ones out there on the market. And in this video, I'm going to be checking it out. This is the Small Rig VB99 Pro and let's get into it. So this VB99 Pro is simply a battery, but there is so much packed into this battery that I have to give you a tour around it. Now compared to a regular V-mount battery, this one is about 70% of the size and it's lighter. The front features this glossy scratch resistant coating that displays a small rig logo, 99, which indicates 99 watt hours, and a color TFT display. This display is awesome because it will show you battery level with nothing plugged into the battery. And when you do have a bunch of stuff plugged in, it will even show you the discharge currents and which ports are being used and how many hours it can go before it runs out. There is a single button on the side that activates this color screen, but when it's in use, it's always on. Around the bottom, there are normal V-mount connectors if you are using it the traditional way, and on the top, under a rubber flap, there are five ports. A DC 12 volt out, a DC 8 volt out, a USB-A, and two USB-C ports, one of which supports quick charging of the battery. Battery. And then on the other side, there is another flap that reveals the D-tap. So in theory, you could plug in seven devices and power them all. The build of this battery is excellent. The frame and most of the exterior is aluminum and fireproof polycarbonate. Now I use a bunch of batteries for this A-roll shot in my office. And I was wondering, could I power everything off of one single battery source? And I guess we should just find that out. So, all right, I'm gonna go handheld here in my office now. This is my normal setup. I have a clip here for an overhead camera, um, Ninja 5, my camera, and key light, and then audio recorder with a microphone. And so these are the batteries that I'm replacing. This is the FZ for the camera. Nice big old battery. This is uh, for the Atomos Ninja and then those batteries, and I'm also replacing the wall power for this light. Now, in order to do this with this small rig, I do need a couple of accessories, and these are just cables, so I bought these on Amazon. They were expensive, unfortunately. They're like $40 a piece. And then I have a simple USB-C to USB-A. And actually, I'm taking this a step further. I bought this little uh, arm that attaches, it's just a V-mount bracket that can attach to my post. This is my gear tree post. So I can mount my battery here on the post and then route all the wires that way. All right, so all that's plugged in. Now what's left is to power on the light. Now I'm gonna use the D-tap for that. Here it is, it's a D-tap on one end and then my small rig light connector on the other. All right, so here is the setup and you can see there's a lot of stuff going in here. So again, I have my camera, my Atomos Ninja, those two cables, I guess they have some cool green LEDs. This cable is going to power my audio recorder, the Zoom F3, and then the D-tap is going to the light. Now you can see the screen here, it's showing 88% battery. Right now there's really no draw on it, but as soon as I turn everything on, we'll see if this little thing can power everything. So let's start with something small. Here is my Zoom recorder, power's on. Let's see the camera, it's on, I can hear it, yep. Then Atomos Ninja 5, it's on. Okay, so we got three devices working, and I think the one that's gonna draw the most power is probably this light, but let's flip that on. And that is powering on, and this is incredible. So now I have my entire YouTube studio set up, camera, monitor recorder, audio, and key light, including the microphone, all being powered off of a single V-mount battery.
So it's showing me all of the draw right now. And based on this usage, we have another two hours and 57 minutes of battery if all of this is running three hours plus worth of battery on a full charge powering four devices all at once. This VB99 supports 100 watt fast charge and discharge, which means that you can charge it for 10 minutes and turn around and run a camera such as my Sony a7C for almost two and a half hours. And a full charge of this thing takes only two and a half hours at 100 watts. In 30 minutes, it can typically charge a MacBook to over 50%. Inside, it features high energy density cells, 3,500 milliamp hours in each cell. Everything is managed with an intelligent battery control control system and there are eight, yes, eight built-in protections such as over discharge, over current and short circuit protection. So yes, this is a very tech rich battery, but by far the thing that separates it from the rest is all of the connectivity that you get with it and also that color display. It's really hard to go back to a regular V-mount battery, one that has a single button with let's say four or five LED indicator lights that give you an approximate value of where the level is at here. You push one button on the side and it shows you this battery is at 95% charge. And because of the connectivity, this battery can serve the dual purpose of also just being a very capable power bank. You can pack this easily with you and use it to recharge the devices that you use every day and quite quickly. It can also recharge a camera battery via USB-C if you run low, so it makes for a great backup. Now these sorts of batteries, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, typically run from about $100 to $200 US. This small small rig is a bit more at 279. It's currently on pre-order and as of the date of this video, Small Rig's website has over 400 pre-orders done. And although you could replicate something like this by buying a separate V-mount plate for let's say $118 and attaching a regular V-mount battery to it, the result would be a bulkier, heavier, less durable setup with no screen. And it won't have nearly the smart charge and discharge features and it's also not going to look so great. So in my mind at least there is some value here at $279 US. If you don't need one that's so large, there's also more compact versions that are less expensive. And there's also larger ones that are more expensive than this if you want all of that. But when you consider all of the things that this battery can do, be a backup for you, a power bank, power all your devices, have all the connections. And if you want that ease of use and really the build and the design and the color screen, I mean, I think the price is justifiable, but let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. Do you guys use V-mount batteries? Would you buy something like this over a regular V-mount? I'm curious if anyone uses these on a regular basis with a camera rig. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and all of your likes and your comments and your support over the years. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.